little tiny umma first, because I want to make sure he got a busy hands first there. If I'm like this, and John is sitting down there, and I start doing my skate, only thing I do is try to stop every move that I try to go here. It goes to my head, it goes to my hand. But if I do the hoop first, I get the hands out of the way, now I go here. I can go under. If I go under here, I need to intercept here first. Because otherwise, Johnny just go ahead and escape right there. He's out of there. He's no longer in the mountain. Huh? So when I decide to go here, and I decide to go underneath, I bring this leg here, I always close the butt right here. Because now Johnny cannot undo this anymore. Huh? I can intercept this all the time here. Huh? I can always catch this. And if I can catch here, very easy. If I can catch here, very easy too. The only thing I don't want to do is catch off my heel. Catch always with your toes up. I always get your toes here, because with my toes, I can I can always make adjustment up. One, lot. Now think of like that, John. <laughs> Stop. If I use my heels, people skate. So anytime you catch somebody's leg, you slide out, uh, toes on the ground, toes, 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 now heel up. Now it's a it's like a, a lock. If I just like this, it's not a lock, huh? So if I want to catch somebody's leg, I catch hours with my toes. Huh? Now, now I can go under, and it's stuck there. It's hard to get out of here. Now I want to try to move it. Huh? I let it go, but I bring this other leg here. Uh -huh. Show the hips here. Use the hand across, so my hand go across right here, right there, right in the hips. And instead of trying to muscle him out, I use my hips. My hips goes and I lock. Now when I lock, that's another good mechanic too. That's if you want to take somebody who's like a truck, you got a truck on top of you, that'll be a good mechanic. <laughs> somebody big guy. So use a cross hand over here. Go across, the other hand over here. Now what you do, you just bridge, and you lock your arm. When you lock your arm, you just move your hip. Slide the leg, slide the leg. That's a very good skate to do, very important. So you put your head across, and you arch, lock it. When you lock, you move. This, this, this hand on the hip is very you guys can do, you're gonna notice that it's almost impossible to stop this skate. It gets out. And if you ever get hit some grace on top of you, you better know how to do that, otherwise you're not gonna get out. That's the only chance you got. <laughs> and if you do right. <laughs> you guys wanna try that? Yeah. Together here. Up. And when the knee comes to this angle here, so I, I, my knee comes not with the hips facing up, but when, the moment I feel that, uh, I turn my hips. See how my hips face this way here now? Mm -hmm. Instead be like this, over here, not good. Right here. Now what you do here, you slide the leg right here too, and you bite. Look what happened again, you, you get the guy off. The same kind of idea that we talked before about the foot. The moment you just come in, you can just very easily get the guy ready to so the only thing you're going to do here, Red, is step bring the leg just like this. Over here. Try. See, see if it works. It is. <laughs> right there. Oh, they're checking about that for about three years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard. What's the problem? Try to come up with solutions for that problem. And you can even ask the guy. Well, a good strategy to be on the mat, to bring to the mat, is this. Is, uh, if you guys 